Hello everybody, Andrea Majewski here with Dental Health Tutoring. So I'm surprised that I've never done this before because I've had my YouTube channel now for about three years, I believe. And I remember when I was a student, even when I was a new dental hygienist, I wanted to know what the day in the life was of a dental hygienist. And there's other people out there who um, talk about their life as a dental hygienist. So I should be doing the same thing. And mine's um, a little bit different because I work twice a week at the dental office, sometimes three. Um, I was a temp as well, so I can share some experience on that, but I tutor primarily full time. So my days might be a little bit different and I look at things a little bit different too. I've been um, a dental in the dental profession for about 14 years now, and I've been tutoring for that long as well. I was a dental assistant, um, then a dental hygienist, and then a restorative hygienist after that. So I can offer a little bit of extra insight for you. But first, I want to show you guys kind of what I bring to the dental office because I've been getting a lot of questions about this. So um, since I work um, twice a week and that's it, sometimes different offices too, I just kind of put everything in this bag here. Um, I keep it simple. I did have a purse, but I found I needed something wider and I needed something bigger um, just simply because I'm going to multiple offices. So I can't just leave my shoes there. I can't just leave my uniform there. Um, so I like to have, have, have everything with me. Plus, if I bring a lunch, I can easily kind of put it in here. So I found getting something longer helped me more. I did have actually the same pattern bag before. Um, but it was shorter and I guess wider, but I find that I couldn't put as much in there. So this just simply works for me. It's not completely full, but I just find it looks nicer and it's just a lot easier to kind of carry around with me. So I usually have my keys. Okay. That's kind of obvious. Um, and in one of the offices that I have, we do have something where we have to click it to check in. So I make sure to have that with me here. Um, I do have my, whoops, my name tag, as you guys can see. I did um, order this myself from Etsy. I can leave the link for you on the bottom. Um, I do have my uniform, of course. Depending on the office that I go to, there are different uniforms. Um, let's see, I mean, I have pens. I find that I always bring a lot of pens with me because depending on the office, I swear they run out of pens or I might have one pen and nobody else seems to have any pens. And if you deal with paper charts, you need a pen. So I probably have at least three in my bag. I have three in my pocket, you know, red and blue seems to be the color. So that's what I like to bring. Like if there is a cavity, then you would mark that in red um, or blue, of course, for everything else. If you're writing in the chart, if you're putting in the next treatment, if you're putting in the codes for the day, pretty much anything. Um, let's see here. My loops, I keep in this bag because I don't just want to throw my loops in there because they're like, what, $2,000 loops? I can't remember. So I do have my loops always in the bag here. And um, I do have a separate video where I talk about the type of loops I have. So be sure to watch that if you are interested. I have a light for my loops, very important. Um, I typically um, keep actually the charger in here too if I run out of charge because I need my light. So if I do run out of charge in between a patient, I will just quickly plug it in and then it will be at least charged up enough for the next patient. Um, I'd say if I let it run a full charge at home, it takes about four hours, but it does work, it seems, for the rest of that day if I need it. Um, I did buy actually a calendar to keep track of my schedule because sometimes I have Tuesdays off, you know, but then sometimes I, I work six hours on Tuesdays instead of four, or I usually work every other Friday, but then sometimes I work two Fridays in a row. So it's just easier to keep track of everything here. Um, so I find that that's extremely helpful. It was like, what, two bucks, I think, um, you know, it just has everything here so that I can keep track and it has islands on it. Um, I bought this um, before we were on our honeymoon. So I just liked to kind of look at the islands because it got me excited. Uh, what else you guys? I typically just put my wallet in here. So not my whole purse or anything, but I just kind of keep my wallet in there in case I need it. Your driver's license, money, if you go out to eat, things like that. But that's literally all I have. 
but it just helps. So if I have a sweater, I can just kind of throw that in there. If I have a lunch, I can throw it in there, but it doesn't look like, you know, it's overly full. So I like it. I like to be simple. Um, oh, and I wanted to show you guys else. I do always keep in a spray. Um, it's not a perfume. It's a mist, okay? Um, yes, there are a lot of um, rules that you're not allowed to wear perfume or scents of any kind. I'll admit, I just spray this twice because it just makes me feel good. You know, I don't wear perfume or mists for other people. I just like to have a nice scent to me, if that makes sense. Um, I'm sure a lot of you will be commenting that I shouldn't be wearing a mist at all, but I do. It hasn't caused problems. Um, if it ever does, if, if I was ever told to not wear the mist, of course I wouldn't, but it's not like other people notice. It's just kind of a nice little scent. So I buy the sample sizes from Bath and Body Works like once a year because I just kind of like to use a different one. In fact, I'll spray some now. This is obviously um, the winter scent, but it smells so good. Um, this hand cream, you guys, is amazing. Here, let me kind of focus that there. Can you guys see that? It is amazing. I will leave the link um, on the bottom for you if you want to order it. Honestly, it's the best hand cream ever because we have to wash our hands after every patient. Sometimes I wash my hands before the patient and at the end of the patient and then before my next one, if it's a really yucky case, then I like to wash my hands a lot, obviously, and hands can get dry. Since I have been using this, my hands just feel and look so much better. Um, and that brings me to my next point. I, I am allowed to wear a nail polish, thank goodness. I love nail polish. I mean, I do, I do. If I'm not wearing nail polish, I don't feel as feminine. I don't know, it's just me. So that's why I have nail polish on. Um, I don't wear my actual um, wedding ring. So this is like a, a simple ring from Pandora, in case you guys wanted to see. Um, because my wedding rings expensive. I don't want it to get yucky since we're always washing the hands. Um, did I mention it's expensive? So I don't, I don't want to lose it somehow or have something happen to it since we are always working with our hands. But I'm married and I like to show that. So I do just have kind of a little thing there. Um, I don't typically wear a necklace because I find that that just looks too much. But I do like to wear earrings. So I do kind of switch it up. Um, what else? Oh, I do always wear my lip scents. So if you guys are looking for a lipstick that will not come off on your mask, see guys, it does not come off. It's amazing, it lasts all day. Um, I do wear my lip scents and I have um, the gloss in the purse to just help it stay moisturized because with lip scents, if you haven't heard of it before, it will actually bond to the lips. So, so you need a lip color, you need a gloss to keep it moisturized, and you need the remover to um, take it off at night. So if you guys are interested in trying some lip scents, I will leave the link on the bottom and a code to get a discount. So if you guys are interested, but honestly, it's amazing. Um, but yeah, you guys, oh, and I typically have my glasses too. Um, but I wear loops, so I don't usually use my glasses because I always have the loops on anyway, but if I need them, I do have them in my bag. Um, and my Fitbit, I guess I should mention that. I have my Fitbit. And I do try to walk around the office a lot. I do try to stretch because you need to stretch. Okay, you guys, so I hope you found this interesting. I don't know, this is, I guess, the first video of Day in the Life of a Dental Hygienist. So if you guys have questions, though, please make sure to comment below because I might have forgot to mention something. It's been a while since I was a new dental hygienist, obviously, so I might be forgetting to mention something important that you want to know. So please, please let me know. I'm happy to help, and thank you for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe because I do upload videos a couple times a week. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.